How about a fix that takes you from overwhelmed to awesome? The Women's Code is a system of, of uh, coaching and live events that shows women a new way to achieve career and personal success, balance, and happiness. How about those three things? And we have a, a special guest here, Biette Chalet. Beautiful name. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and you're the author of this wonderful title, The Women's Code, Happy Woman, Happy World. I like the sound of that. Well, you know, women are just running around like crazy. It's so busy. If you're a mother, uh, you work, you have children. Tell me. You know, it's like, where do you start? And so I wanted to give women a code so we can get from overwhelmed to awesome. So it's kind of this system that you have, right, where you, you're, you're known as the gender decoder. How did you come about this? Well, the gender decoder is really a name that the media gave me because it's about what he says and what she says and what they really both mean and how we can get back together because very often women say one thing but we're not really clear and then he hears something completely different. So the idea really is to give women a code because men have a code so that we get along much better. It seems like their code is a little simpler than ours is. <laughs> you know, it's hard. We were just saying in the break, it's very hard to achieve that balance, you know, the 50-50 balance. I find myself just, when I'm supposed to be sleeping, I'll do all the things I need to do. Well, that's really part of the women's code is to learn on how to set priorities. I call that a main focus in the women's code. And it means that we somehow schedule everybody else's appointments and everybody else's needs but we forget about our own and so the the goal really is to say what do i need and getting very clear for women to say this is what i need to be happy this is what i need to function and that is really the code is and then we help each other to achieve that this uh, month of march which is just beginning is you know the the month for women we're, we're featuring women, talking about women. What made you turn your life around? Was there a low point that you hit that you said, I, I want to change things? Absolutely. So I was $135,000 in debt. I was a single mom. I was broke. I was devastated. Nothing really worked. And then I had this great business idea, and the stars aligned, and I was able to sell my company for millions of dollars to Bill Gates. And then when I got out on the other side, I said, there has to be somebody telling women that there is a way to get from, you know, overwhelmed to this, this awesome stage. And that's really my mission here is to tell women it's possible. Well, how, okay, so just to expand on that a little more, what was that idea? Because I, I was a single mom and really kind of in the same spot. So how did you, what was the idea? I had uh, uh, come up with an idea for stock photography syndication which means, you know, photography that already exists and then resell it, license it all over the world. And I was, became the top provider of the celebrity at home story. And so our, our stories were sold in 79 countries all over the world. And Bill Gates had a company called Corbis that then saw what I did and they wanted to learn it and then they had to buy me to figure out my secrets. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's terrific. Good for you. Thank you. Yeah, so it can happen. Uh, so some of the examples of women who are out there in leaders, like for, for example, Hillary Clinton, yes. scrutinized and revered at the same time. Absolutely. You know. So Hillary Clinton really is a, a woman, a trailblazer uh, that we haven't seen in, in many, many years. I mean, no matter what our political views might be, but from a woman to woman perspective, I mean, go girl, because she is paving the way the way for so many women to come after her. And so what happens is that a lot of, especially men, try to take her down. It's the hair, the size of the bud. She's not aging properly. I mean, come on. You know, so it's all these like little things. And so it's time for us sisters to get together and say, that's my sister. Nobody gets to talk about another woman like that. This ends here today. I mean, you think about how far we've come, but how much we have to go. And just in the previous segment, when I was talking about female leaders across the world, there really aren't very many compared to the population, you know, just and especially compared to men. So how do we empower ourselves? Well, first of all, really, it starts with women. So that we uh, have the conversation that we are now encouraging women to support other women because women are not very supportive of each other. So if we believe that there's only 2% of CEOs, only 20% of political positions available for women, of course we have to be at each other's throat because that's this little available for us. But if we were to believe that we are the majority and we are 51% of the population, we are the majority. 
yeah. that we could really have 50%, there was no fight because then truly the best person could rise to the top. Do you hear that, ladies? Beate is saying, don't take each other down, raise each other up, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so this book, where can we find this book? Uh, it's available on Amazon as an e-book, audio book, and as a printed book. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can also check it out on my website, beatechalette.com. Oh, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. I feel me. empowered already. <laughs> All right. <laughs>